Hey everybody, welcome back to Workers and Resources. I figured out why this bus was stopping here. It's kind of an annoying issue, and I don't actually know how, why it hasn't been a problem up until now. But uh, this bus is on the same route as this bus, and this bus is sitting in this slot. Now, I thought this slot was a repair slot, because you click this build, click this, you don't, I don't see or uh, any, you know, there's up to four vehicles can be in here, right? Up to four vehicles can get repaired, right? So that I thought was how that worked. But apparently this thing here, when it drops off workers, it goes into this slot and this bus was just sitting there doing nothing. So this is the one that was busted. I told this one to go to a depot and when it moves, this one can now get in there. Uh, to, to drop off workers. So these two things kind of timed out uh, and they don't have any workers to drop off So there's nobody here, but what I've done to try and alleviate any um, Strain on this system alleviate any uh, vehicles that are just sitting here after a long period of time is I've added this Checkbox here. I've went in and I've said allow the repair cancel when long idle So if vehicles are sitting in here for a long time like these guys have been they will clear out of here Even if they're not fixed they go back to work so this one's leaving the repair center now. Instead of just sitting there and waiting till it's zero, it's going to go back to work at 40%. So at least they're functional that way, right? But hopefully we don't get uh, this thing clogging up. Speaking of clogging up, I think this one's bugged too. I haven't noticed any of the service material dropping in a very long time here. It's just sitting here and we really shouldn't need a vehicle here at all because this one should be covering it. So I'm going to control H this one, and it's going to get sent back to that repair center way over there. So if this guy, this guy's come all the way over here to repair things, but it didn't need to. To help alleviate this problem in the future, at least I think it will alleviate this problem in the future, we're going to go in and we're going to add a bus stop, a free bus stop, right over here across the road, uh, about like this. Just like that, that's fine. And uh, now the buses will come over here to drop them off and then they can walk across via these walking paths to get to work, okay? So now I want to just go ahead and grab the buses on the route, scroll all the way down, grab the buses that are in this route to take workers here. And we're just gonna change your route to include this bus stop instead on an unload. And we don't need you to do that anymore. So this is the new route. And you'll come in, keep yourself spaced out just like you always were, but you're going to drop them off here now instead. Hopefully that fixes things. I don't know. To fix our budget entirely, we're really going to need more workers. So this is my core focus today. It's just making sure everybody here is up to date and up and working and everything. We got the walking paths here. So when these guys are done, they should be able to get to this bus stop. That's going to help us a ton. I want to get more fuel production if possible, but what I really need more of is food. I've got the worker count up to 50 now, but we're actually more behind on food than I thought I was. So we have a, it's a good buffer that we have there. This guy here is also sitting here doing silly things, trying to make sure that the forklifts have lots of fuel, which is uh, a novel. Uh, it's a very noble cause, all right? But I don't need you to do that anymore. So I'm going to give you a new route and I want you to go pick up the fuel. I'm gonna have two trucks that are just dedicated to that right now. Most likely I won't need this many cisterns, but as I expand the Republic, we'll have other, you know, more fuel trucks. And then, so we'll need to carry it longer distances and stuff. Those longer distances, we're gonna start getting this uh, done as well for asphalt so that the fuel trucks have a big long sort of highway sort of thing to, to ride down. Uh, we'll start getting all this stuff done as well for asphalt too. But before we can go really into that, I want to really make sure this is happening. So I'm not going to redo any roads right now until we have all the walking paths sorted too. So road crew is kind of dedicated to walking paths for the time being until they're completed. Um, in addition to that, I may assign them some other things that they're capable of doing, like delivering gravel and stuff to the pipes and stuff. Might start getting them in on that a little bit. Um, yeah, we have these walking paths here too. Uh, and, and, and they should be able to get this done too. The, the, uh, oh, not this one. Sorry, this one here. This is the one I want done. Yeah, yeah. I want them to be kind of focused in on this for sure. And then they need to get this path done as well so that we can start building this part. 
And then we're ready to go for prefab panels, which just has 170 work days left. Oh boy. Now I've stopped this construction because I don't need it running yet. I don't have a way to get people here reliably yet. And I don't want it to be a fire target. So it can't, it can't catch fire if it's not done. That's just how that, how the game works. We never got this completed. We never got the substation done. Well, that I need water to this area, so yep, let's make sure that's getting done. And then uh, this one is the industrial water, which is actually not important yet because this facility isn't completed. But if we can get cement brought in, then we can totally make our own concrete too. So all that all that's left then is we just have to start making cement. So hell, maybe that's a good way to cut our cost even further. We can just do that because with gravel done, we can get the gravel one done. We can start having concrete and then it just becomes bringing in yeah bringing in cement so i can have a whole bunch of cement trucks which i actually don't have any dry bulk trucks so i'd have to buy like probably four or five of them to really have enough but i would have probably three of them dedicated to prefabs and two of them dedicated to here possibly just one because i think there's limited slots here i think one dedicated to bringing cement here and then uh yeah and then and then maybe four Three or four are dedicated to this. I, I mean, I just play around with it until this is done. It's 40 tons of steel. Once this is done, then they all can be dedicated to this storage because then it'll just feed them both. This building is like way out in the future, okay? I placed this just to make sure it'll work, but I don't expect anyone to work here for a very long time. So the cement plant is going to wait a long time because it is not economical to get this running until everything else is running better. And then uh, cement is not that expensive, but it's 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 really intensive to make when it comes to gravel. It's gonna it's gonna empty this thing very quickly. So I don't want to have this running until I have a really firm grasp on the gravel game here, uh, and that includes basically, basically having a maxed out 15 people in this all the time. Speaking of gravel, this thing just finished. Isn't that lovely? So what I could do, assuming we have enough people working in the heat, and we may not. And uh, I probably want to get another bus on the heating route. Wow, I just can't figure out where they are. At least they're traveling the full speed now because of the, the end station working. So that's good. Electricity problems. Ugh. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a thing. It's all about people. Everything is always about people. Your biggest bottleneck in the game, always. I don't think you'll ever have a point in the game where you can say honestly that workers are not your, your sole bottleneck. Um, because it's just every other resource, you could just grab it from the border and that's it. But I mean, if you have a lot of money inflow, then yeah, foreign workers, cool. But foreign workers are very expensive. I actually wonder if the price of foreign workers has dropped though. Uh, so foreign manpower is at 1509. So it has risen, not dropped. I was wondering if like the whole supply and demand thing, right? If I, if I haven't used them in a long time, then you know what? Is it you? Oh, ho, 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 ho. I found your ass. So the reason I couldn't find this guy is because he's going here. He's going to this one. But then he's he's going that way and then around. And I'm thinking, oh, if they're going this way, then I'll find him on this road. But no. And I'm thinking, okay, well, if he's on this road, then surely he'll be, you know, in this list. No, you can't do that. So the question is, where the hell are you dropping this off? Small aggregate? What? I checked this thing. Oh, it's this one. <laughs> okay. I thought you were... Oh, this is... I found you. I found you. All right. I want you to uh, not do any of this thing that you're doing. Um, you can actually sell coal for 145 per ton. Ah. All right. So I need you to drop this off somewhere else. I need you to drop this off. Have a new stop right here. All right. You're gonna unload, wait till you're unloaded, all right? And then you're going to come over here and do absolutely nothing for a while, like the other dump trucks are. <laughs> you're gonna do absolutely nothing. Once you're done with this, make it so. Yes, that's what you're doing, okay. So I won't have to worry about bringing coal in anymore on the imports. Silly. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, crops still bringing that in because I wasn't really confident we could last until the next harvest. 
uh, especially if we're working this adequately. But at the moment, I think we're doing pretty well on that. We're doing really good on crops. So any tr any truck that's going and loading crops at the border probably should stop doing that too. So I need to find. I figured one of you guys would be doing that, but I don't see that. So I'll have to find out who's doing that too. Probably they're probably bringing it to the train station, right? So I probably would see. No. I don't need to space this out either. I don't care. Distribution. Uh, the distribution office. You're the one that's doing it, right? No. Weird. So we're not bringing in any crops. In distribution. Must be the road cargo station then. Related vehicles. No. Well, I'll figure it out too. We'll have to stop bringing crops to the border too. So I'll probably have to just keep an eye on the border and. Make sure that's not happening. Here's one of them right here. Make sure that you're not doing this anymore. We're going to change you to going to uh, that other route. We'll just assign you to that other route. Where is where's this route? Right here. You. You're the one. I want you to assign your route to this truck. All right. I don't know if that's the only truck doing it, but that's the truck. That's the route we're going to have for you now. So there you go. And we'll have those crops coming in locally from our own farms. Because we're, we're growing a lot of stuff. We're, we're doing great on that. Um, you can never, I don't think we're ever going to really have too many crops though. So we'll have to, I'm just going to keep an eye on it for a bit. Okay. This house is done. Now we have it to where they are not allowed to move into the building. All right. Whether or not they do it or not, I have no idea, but we have it set so that they don't move out of the building. What I want to see is we have water. We do. Oh, you have water here. Oh, 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 I had no idea. You know what? Honestly, though, I don't think your connection is going to handle that, though. Yeah. Because the pipe on this is a small pipe. So you're not going to be able to handle this anyway. We're going to we're going to continue on with what we got. But I mean, I, I literally have sewage, heat and water coverage to this building. So as long as it can reach the it can, it can reach the bus station. I think we just turn it on then. Absol absolutely it can reach everything it needs to it doesn't it can't reach a kindergarten so that's something else i had to look at so kindergarten is all the way over there i do need another kindergarten we're gonna place that over here uh let's grab uh right here kindergarten so i think probably a big one would be needed here too it's right next to both of where all the passengers could go and um there's a lot of houses here so we're gonna need a bigger kindergarten to, to facilitate that at need so i'm thinking we're gonna place this right about here this should be okay. It should be able to reach it no matter what here. Uh, I'm, I'm worried up. I, I do kind of want to see. Might be too late on this because of where, where I've already built this. Yeah, I'm already too late on that. Uh, I could do it here though. Yeah, let's come around. Say like this. Yeah, around like that. Uh huh. And then you're going to go up. I don't want you to connect there. I, I would like you to connect up here. That way you can reach the bus there. But also there. And then you can go that way, I guess. So you can reach the bus there. We'll make that a thing and then hope the kindergarten will fit here. So kindergarten, it can still fit here. Oh yeah, we're good. Right there, be the kindergarten. So we'll start construction on that soon by just doing that really quick so we can get construction going on that. So that'll be needed for them to even start working here to begin with anyway. Um, and then we have all these walking paths and stuff that need done. Very good. Got right there and there. All these are accessible except that. And uh, of course the rail gets built later. But this this is going to be awesome. Having people walk right next to the rail. I think it's going to be great. Looks like these guys are getting off the... No? Nope. They're just walking across. Okay. That's why we're not getting workers for power. They're all walking across this to, to, to fix it. And that's fine. I want these houses done anyway. But I'm going to allow citizens to move here. So as soon as I allow them to work here, to, to move in here, that's it. Light switch gets triggered and they're here, right? Uh, now they're going to walk around, I think, for now to get there. Yeah, until this walking path right here is done. So I actually need this to be a high priority for everybody involved including my workers. Just bring somebody here, please. It looks like that might be the case. But I, I need them to walk uh, from this. 
to the bus stop. Yeah, you should be able to reach that bus stop, no problem. So uh, right now I'm gonna say that you work here and that way they won't work the construction sites until this is done. But we should have a lot of people moving in here. Very good. And the population of 21 without a flat should be dropping. It should drop all the way to zero now as they move into here. Now we're gonna get complaints soon that they can't reach a kindergarten. Although, again, you can ride the bus to here and get to the kindergarten from there. That's, that's doable. So it's about whether or not I allow passengers. So we'll go ahead and allow passengers. We have to, because otherwise they won't be able to get food yet. So they're gonna take the bus over there. That's why I've got these two buses that are going back and forth between those. That's what they're for. This one right here, yep. Uh, there is, is there only one? No, there should be two here. You should be, okay, so you're moving workers too. So this is purely a passenger line. I think the other bus is moving workers as well. I think that's why that's happening. What, let me let me see the buses that are going through here. This is gonna be kind of a, an episode where we just kind of tinker with what's happening and, and try to get everything balanced and ready to rock. So I, I don't know if we're gonna, really gonna be designing anything today. If that's your cup of tea, I'm sorry about that. Um, you know, you can come back for the next one, that's fine. It looks like I've already pulled the bus off of this. So I will need another bus that moves through here. Damn, all right, well. Hey, we couldn't go without getting another loan forever, right? Uh, go to the economy screen. We're two and a half million in debt. And now we're gonna be even more. I'm gonna borrow, let's do one five. And we'll get rid of this one with one five. I'm gonna actually roll both of them. So rolling both of these loans is gonna drop my total payments. I mean, you have to go back in the video just like a few seconds to see what the payment was. But I believe we can drop our payments by doing this. So if I hit this, payment's now 47,450. It'll probably be closer to 44 when we eliminate this loan too. So I'm gonna eliminate this loan by going to about here. And then uh, we'll roll this one, 1174579. And our payments should drop 44,383, good. So now we have more money and lower payments, slightly higher debt, but lower payments like that uh and then i'm gonna take and use this let's just pull this over here i don't know whether we can export power to be honest i'm i'm a little bit nervous on that i'm just gonna keep this open uh if, as long as we can get people to come to that bus stop we're good we'll be, we'll be fine on power so i'm gonna let that export happen now so what i want to do now is we're gonna buy some buses and i'm gonna buy them straight from the border probably shouldn't do that probably should buy them at a depot uh I've been debating whether or not I want to get that depot done, but haven't yet. Uh, what I could do, see, this is another repair bus that's here to repair these vehicles. I don't know if it's supposed to be there. It might be bugged out. I'm going to let that, I'm going to, I mean, I know it has to park here to fix the cars that are here, but the, the, the these vehicles don't need fixing. So I don't know, like they're brand new. So I don't know what, the, well, they were brand new. They were purchased brand new. I think they were. Didn't I purchase those brand new? Did I Did I move them? Eh, I might have disrupted something cool, but whatever. I probably don't have the steel for it anyway. Anyway, isn't this bus depot over here yet? I must have gotten rid of it. I already have all seven depots used. Uh, where are they then? I know one's over there with the dump trucks. All right, you know what? We'll just, we'll just do this. Let's... um. See if you have any used buses. That's not bad. It's not that big of a discount though. Um, but it is the same exact model that we're already using. And so a discount is a discount, right? So let's do that. And uh, we'll see if we can't send it over there. And then we'll get a new one. And the new one, is, yeah, the same thing. I like SKD 706 RTO MTZ right here, this one. So it's, a, it's basically the same thing. The only difference is it has more passenger capacity for less speed and since this is the bus that's moving people between stations in town that's kind of what i'm looking for i want to have like maybe three of them that are just moving passengers around to see if that maybe works um so i think i will build one more of these and uh that volume we're gonna have these guys changing workplaces and they're gonna work 
I guess here for now, just so I can get them out of the customs house. And then once I get them out of the customs house, I'll apply the, the route to them and everything will be fine. So here they come out of the customs house. Now that's your route now. Very good. There you go. Have a nice day. And then your route too. There you go. Have a nice day. And then we've got line spacing enabled for this. And I don't think I want you going to the depot. I don't think I want you going to an end station. But if you were going to an end station, you would go here to here and back. See, if, if you stop at the end station, you're going to have... Yeah, I can't do that. I can't have you stopping at an end station here. So we will space you out with line spacing instead. That gives us three buses going back and forth between this route. And that's exactly what we needed. And you're picking up everyone that's not workers and transporting them between these two bus stations. So a lot of these guys are going to be trying to get food, for example. Uh, so stop right here. So this person is looking to pray. Uh, this one's looking for sports, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. There's sports right here, yo. Unless you want a different kind of sport. Should we put something right here, I wonder, next to this? Uh, you know what we should put here? We really should start investing in monuments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monuments should definitely be an investment. Um, I'm thinking a monument should go here. I believe this will be influencing almost everyone by going here. By going right here. I think this will influence almost everyone. Although I was really hoping to put a bistro here. <laughs> Maybe I'll put this monument here instead. It's almost the same. Put it right off the bus station and everybody can reach it, right? I think maybe that's the case. Maybe we'll go like this instead. I don't know why I want to put a bistro here, but I do. It's a road connection, and I think it'll fit really wonderfully right here in this spot. Uh, I think so, anyway. Let's let's check that. If I go tourism, I just like to say bistro. Oh, uh, I have to move that that road over there. That that walking path. Maybe the bistro can go here. Hang on, maybe the bistro goes here instead. It looks like it'll fit. Hold on. Right. The important thing is that it has a road connection so that we can, you know, give it the supplies that it needs. Oh, it'll totally fit here. Come on. Yeah, right there. You know it. Right there. That's where we're going to do it. It's a nice little bistro. It's going to be the hot spot. Everybody's going to love going to this place. I'm telling you. Everybody's going to love it. Uh, so from there, then we'll place the propaganda right next to that. And these red star monuments are awesome. Um, they have, if you haven't seen them yet, right? They have 5.2% uh, government loyalty influence. So plus 5.2% in a 415 meter radius, which is further, uh, at least it used to be, I think, further than people could walk at 100%, right? So this thing is influencing a long range at 5.2%. Now, again, it doesn't raise their loyalty to 100% if you just stack a bunch of these next to each other. It just raises the minimum it's allowed to drop up to a certain point. There is a maximum to this, so stuffing monuments everywhere isn't going to help you as much as something like, say, a radio station, which is going to be over here. If I remember how I'm going to space this out correctly, I believe my radio station is right here, which I already have access to. In my state infrastructure, I can go... That's not where it is. It's in residential areas? Yeah. Radio station here. That's where I was going to put it. Right over here. And uh, we'd have, you know, broadcasting radio and propaganda to everyone uh, in this spot. It would be beautiful. And then, of course, more houses and stuff over here. Police stations covering that, etc. And then eventually we're going to need another heating source because we're going to get too far away from that heater. So we're going to need another heating source over here. But I'm hoping to have the rail done before that's a thing because then I can deliver coal. There's also another coal source right over there I can deliver it from and a coal source over there, which I was going to make dedicated to steel. But I got a feeling we have enough to send it to a heater over here. So probably do that too. But if you were wondering where the uh, the radio station was, was going, wonder no more. It's going right here, okay? <laughs> but we're not ready to build that yet. We're just going to have to wait a little bit longer. So not quite ready for that yet. All right, so kindergarten is going to be set. That's going to help them. And uh, 179 workers are here. There it is. So now we have 25 people out of flat. They should be able to move here when I allow it. 
and there's no reason not to allow it because they can get everywhere as well. So let's go ahead and turn that on and we can start getting productive aged people working here too. Okay, cool. Very, very good. This is exactly what we need. More and more people right here at this bus stop waiting for like passenger buses. Oh, good. <laughs> I think I probably should look at planning my, my supermarket now, my, my shopping center now. So the shopping center, I think I want this. It depends on how the, the pathing works here. And I may put, you know, like a, a walking path tunnel over here. But I was thinking of, I was hoping to have it be right here. Uh, because I'm, I'm hoping anyway that, you know, around the roundabout and then you drop things off, right? And uh, at the, the warehouse, whatever. But I want a cargo station that comes through here with the rail. So the rail would end up coming through this way is what I was kind of hoping for. I don't know whether I can pull that off yet. Um, maybe it's worth looking at to see if we can. Bring these up here so they're slightly out of the way. So why don't we, why don't we look at see what that's like. If I was to take... Let's say the shopping center, which is in this residential areas, because it's like the, the thing that people need, right? Their needs. Definitely want a large shopping center. And I would I would think it could either go here or here. I was hoping it could go here, but I, I worry that they won't be able to reach where they need to reach. And certainly not with dirt, but I mean, if I go over here, then of course they all reach this easily. And maybe that is the best solution because I could have another housing block right here that can also reach that. So I think so. I think we're going to go on this side instead. So I'll place this with the walking path being right across there. I think that's good. Although if I if I bias this direction, I can get more houses over here that can reach it. And since these guys can reach it anyway, I think that's maybe better. So how about we go right here? And do I want to flip this? Mm. Do I want to flip this? Have the road on the other side. I think not. No, I think not. I think we're going to go like this with it. Let's leave a little bit of space for like power routing and stuff. I know I'm going to regret it if I don't do that. So I'm going to do about like that. All right. Now there's obviously no grid up to that, but if this is here, then all of these guys can definitely reach the store. Um, so on the back side of this, as you know, we have sort of a delivery mechanic here where we drop things off to a meat storage and a warehouse and then the forklift brings it in. And that is adequate for every need you have, that is adequate. However, for bringing it in on a rail, that's a little trickier because the rail is going to have to use a cargo station. And that means you have to allow a lot more space. You have to have uh, trains that have to stop in between the roads, etc. All that stuff considered, I also want to have more density in this area. I wanna have a lot more people here because they can reach that train station. That train station is going to hopefully allow people who live right here next to this to reach it. That's what I'm counting on anyway. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm, that's what I'm counting on. So I want to see like people living right here and living all around this so that we can get in there. So with that said, I got to be kind of careful about spacing here. And so I'm thinking with the warehouse, what I could do is I'm going to put this warehouse, flip this. I'm going to put this warehouse, I think, right here. All right, and uh, this is directly connected, but I'm gonna have meat routed here with a truck to have a dedicated truck that is going to take it from the train station all the way over there, that big meat storage, a dedicated big refrigeration truck is gonna wheel that in and deliver it directly to the store, wait until unloaded, okay? That's gonna make things a lot easier for me to manage in this area because I, I want a cargo train, for, like I said, to, to come through here and to drop stuff off for this store. So if I bring this, I wonder if this is better or if over here is better. I just want to take up the least amount of space possible. So if I was to do something like this, then the single cargo train station is a single one. And I was thinking about using this one. Which means only one rail is coming through here, right? Which is fine. I'm taking up less space that way. Um, and I can I can give places for them to bypass each other too. It's just an extra like little creative way to make this happen. So I'm thinking like, right about here. All right. Now we're pretty far away from the trains here. But I have enough room to bypass here, I think. So let's say this rail comes across. 
Uh, you're coming across this way. So let's say you're coming across this way. Okay. Kind of going to do this. I need this rail to start getting developed anyway. He should be working on it. I, I probably ought to steal or something. Um, out of prefab panels. Yeah, I need any prefab panels to continue building the rail. So... We'll get them built soon. <laughs> we'll make our own. I'll, I'll do it with my own. I don't want to buy anything else other than steel. I don't really want to buy steel either, but uh, I don't have a choice on that one. And then uh, we'll have this rail continue on, let's say, this direction. Be sure we're actually connected to it. I do that all the time. I'll, I'll, I'll start the rail, like, right here. Nope. As an accident, we'll start it, like, right here. Right? Or, like, right next to it, but not really. Let's say you go... Let's have you go around casually. Yeah, I kind of want to whip you into this area. Then we'll whip around from there out like this. And then whip you around this way like that, probably. Something like that is probably what you're going to end up doing. Um, I'm not entirely sure where all my industry is going to be located. But I think this will pretty much take care and cover everywhere that we want it to be over time. So about there, we'll just mark that in and say that that's something that I'll want done eventually as you do. All right. And get rid of that. Okay. So from this, we want to see where's this rail coming in. Because this tank is here, it makes it a little difficult to kind of put this in. But I think if I, if I wanted this to go, I could go like this, wrap around that tank like this. All right, so about like this, there's two different tracks you see, but as we cross into here, it's going to merge into one track. So what we want is to make sure that the trains don't stop and block this intersection. So that means it's this side that we want to connect over here. This one, we want this train to uh, be able to merge over. So if I was to go... Uh, let me see. It's probably just... What I probably should do is just suck it up and do two, right? It would certainly make it easier if I did two. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to do two. <sighs> Fine. I had an idea, but I, I just don't think it's going to work. And since I have the space now, I'll just do it right. Whatever. I'm still taking up less space than usual by making it like this. So we'll go about here with it. Takes up much more space, but right about like this with it. Still delivering the resources directly and not using forklifts. Okay. So right here, like this. And then this will continue on that way, which hopefully I have enough room for the, the houses. At the moment, we'll just lay it in planning tracks this direction. And hopefully I have enough room for the houses. Uh, another thing I could do maybe is have it arch and go this way and meet up here. So that's a possibility while we still have this. And then I wouldn't have to occupy this with track. That's not bad. Then I can have it use this too. I'll think about that too. Yeah, we'll think about that. Um, for now, let's just uh, gut this and submit that so I have it. Okay, so on this side, hopefully a meat storage fits here. I don't know why it wouldn't. There we go. And then the trick is going to be getting this road to just work everywhere. Uh, in fact, I think we can make that happen easier by going like this. I hope, anyway. Um, come on. That will probably work. I'm a little bit concerned on how far over we are here because of this road. And I have space to go over here, I believe. 155? Oh yeah, lots of space. Uh, so tell you what, quick cut. I'm just gonna reposition the stuff. I'll be right back. Okay, so I repositioned everything uh, I, and moved the uh, store over too. And I actually repositioned the warehouse so that it was right up against the store. And it's kind of gonna look almost like an extension of the building, I think, when it's done. So that'll look pretty good. We got road connections in here, okay. And then there's the meat storage here, as well as the warehouse here. Now, of course, the meat storage is not directly connected here. So again, we need a truck. But if we put a really little truck here and just tell that truck, the only thing that truck does is just load from here, 
Wait till loaded. Wait till unloaded. Wait till loaded. Wait till unloaded. We don't even need to necessarily wait till uh, loaded, but just to save that that room. That's a very simple route, and it's effectively a, a, a forklift. We can put a really small refrigeration truck here, and it's effectively a forklift. So we're going to work with that. Uh, the rail also shifted just a little bit because of having to move the station out just a tad more. It's a bit unfortunate since I didn't really want to do that. But if I just cut it right over here, I can now have this rail, I think, be a lot smoother. And let's see, maybe I can like this. Can I straighten you? Yeah, something like this would be better. Is that a really sharp turn? I mean, okay, so, so for a train, yeah, that's a pretty sharp turn. But the game does let you make really sharp turns with trains in this game. You know, in this game, you can make really sharp turns, so I'm all right with it. All right. So I think that's going to take care of my rail connection here. And I can't get rid of that because it's a junction. I don't see a situation currently where the train for distribution would need to go from this side to here. I don't foresee that being a thing that's needed. If it is, it's a small bit of track. We'll build it. Um, but I don't, I don't think so. So for now, I think this junction just stays this way. There is, however, a reason why a train would come from this side and then whip up there because it's train distribution. Everything is made for the train distribution network. So I do need two tracks here. That means there's a chance that this is going to get in the way of this road. We might see this blocking this road sometimes. And uh, I don't like it, but that's the way it is currently. I think I can get around a little bit of it uh, by lifting up and doing a, a bridge, but this is too short of a distance to lift up here. Uh, or it isn't. Or it isn't. Hello. I was. I would have put money on it that that was too short of a distance to lift up. And I would have lost that money. <laughs> okay, well, we'll lift it up here then. And it won't interfere with the road. And then I might as well, at that point, spend a ton of steel. No, <laughs> that's silly. Uh, I don't know if it's worth lifting it up. You know, we'll put a, we'll put a pin in it again. I, I don't really care necessarily about that right now. Uh, we'll put a pin in that. But if I'm making my own steel, then hell yeah, man. We're just going to wrap around and we'll leave a little space with the radio station so that we can maybe cut that through. And then uh, this becomes, you know, this becomes the track. We just wrap around through here and then we just... Merge onto this one and off we go. Now, mm, no, I don't think we do that either. Because if we do that, then this is going to be a junction and then another. No, we can't do that. All right. Then in this case, then it's pretty simple, straightforward. We go that way. I know. it's uh, He's indecisive. No, he's in the process of making a decision. <laughs> it's, very, it's a very different thing. You have to make these decisions. And that means weighing out your options. And... Some people actually like the idea of hearing all my thought processes and figuring out, you know, how do I get to the conclusion that I got to? What was the reason why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it? And you don't really get that when I cut and just like, look what I did. You don't necessarily get the, what did I do before I did that part of it? And I think some people, I, I think some people like that. Um, <laughs> I've been told anyway by some people that they like that. So I'm going to keep doing it as long as I can then. We have six, seven, nine judges-ish. I think we're kind of getting the trials done. We're maybe a little overbooked. All right, just a little overbooked. And uh, we're getting we're getting prisoners here too. We got we definitely have a crime situation, right? That's happening. That's a thing. Uh, nobody lives here. Everybody decided to go here. Nobody lives here. Is it because they can't reach anything? That's not true, right? You can totally reach the bus. You can reach the school. You damn near reach the cinema. Very close, anyway. Is this tunnel done? When this tunnel's done, you guys can totally reach stuff. This tunnel would be great to have, man. It's just a long time. Long time still. How's this tunnel over here doing? If I can find it. Where is it? Alright, so it's... Okay, so they brought 355 tons of bricks already here. Actually, they're just waiting on five tons of steel. And then they're done with that. Holy moly. That seems cool. Unfortunately, it means we have to buy steel. <laughs> but it does seem pretty cool. Okay. 
Uh, you're out of fuel. Is that a thing? Really? You couldn't find a single fuel station on your way? On your route? You kidding me? Yeah, well, we don't exactly have the fuel rats coming out this way anymore, do we? You're telling me. Are you telling me? I don't, I don't want that anymore. But are you saying to me right now? Wow. Wow. All right, tell you what. Um, we need fuel rats to keep some of these things going, don't we? Let's put another temporary station right here. A free gas station is going to be kind of essential. We'll put one on this side, like this. And then we'll have this road connect here and then here, okay? And then we want the fuel rats to add this. Nope. Right here. Add this to your sources. I might have forgotten to add sources. It's possible that I just didn't... Yeah. Whoa! We have 350 tons of fuel in here. Oh, that's fantastic. That's really good news, folks. Here you go. Off you go. And in fact, I might actually go ahead and say, you always sell fuel. I might regret that. I really shouldn't do that, right? I really, no, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> let's, not, let's not do that. I don't want to run out of fuel because I'm not paying attention. I know myself, man. I'm not going to be paying attention. That's just the way it's going to happen. Where's this traffic jam at? Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, let's have you go to depot. You can go right. I never figure out where it is. Right there. All right. Report to depot, please. So we're just not refueling things or what? We got uh, some root here. Oil. Yeah, all these oil. All these oil tankers need to have their roots changed. And we got to figure out whether or not we're good on bitumen too. Can we? Can we sell more? We got 268 in here, so I think we can. Yeah, I think we could probably sell more. Because we got a lot. So I, I'm thinking now we uh, we just do exclusively sell on the bitumen. Until we run out of asphalt. Then we can continue doing bitumen. Asphalt's really not a critical supply. But the bitumen is very good for us to sell. So I kind of like that idea. I'm going to go ahead into their route. There's three of you guys doing this so i'm just gonna say that you don't do this anymore okay you just do this now and we're gonna do exclusively selling on bitumen until we're until we have a problem with asphalt because we got a whole lot of this i mean that's a lot of money right there that's some pretty juicy money right there we should i should definitely i would i would very much like to to get that going right now um, other projects we could have done is statues, of course. Um, I don't really think the bistro is necessary at the moment, although it's still fun to say. And then, uh, let's get one of those stars. One of those red stars. We'll put it over here. This is a great spot for it. Right here. We'll do it with a dirt path. Since it doesn't affect distance, we could do it with a dirt path. This requires steel as well. So, time to buy more steel. So, hello, trucks. It is time once again. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> Let's rack up the debt. Let's go. I'm going to tell you to get some mechanical components, too, because I feel like we're probably going to be out. I also want to get the conveyors and stuff moving, so we're going to need the conveyors. I need that stuff for the conveyors. Uh, this is the last residential expansion I'm going to do um, in this city. So once these are done, we'll do the radio station. But these guys will work at the radio station too. Uh, we'll have this city, but we won't have this city going until we have this one going. Cernakova is the next uh, place I'll be going. I don't exactly know if we're going to keep it as Cernakova. But Cernakova will be the next residential area that we build and develop. And then once this is done, we have sufficient people working in coal. We have sufficient people working at a university, probably... Uh, medical university on this side. We can then look at getting our scrapping industry set up. And at that point, I believe we'll have enough workers between all these places to work what's going on. At that point, we'll then look to expand ourselves out this way towards the steel industry. And we'll need to expand residential to work that industry. All the while, we'll be expanding over into this area to get farming. And as long as I'm exporting, I feel like with enough workers, we should be able to pay for steel with all of our exports. And 
I'm hoping we can because then I can get this stuff sorted, get this oil piped into here. I get this oil piped into here, then I can have more people working this building, and then our exports should totally be killing it. I'm hoping. <laughs> it's not a guarantee. Nothing ever is. But exports are the, the only reason we can stay alive right now. So we have to keep going on with that. If I take a look at maybe uh, last month, let's see. So imports, 20,000 in steel. We're going to have easily that much, probably more so this month because I just started again. Uh, 13 tons of steel is already in here. Yeah, prefab panels. So 4,000 in prefab panels. We're going to work on that too. And then um, as soon as this building's done, which I think, uh, yeah, 30 tons of steel. This is going to let us buy our train. I hesitate to buy the train yet because I don't think we really need it. But if there's a really, what was that? Oh, there's just citizen, ha citizen happiness is low. I don't care. Um, <laughs> I, I don't really. There's nothing I can do about it right now. I want to see if there is a uh, a really good train. More tower cranes would be nice to have too. Uh, there's no there's no locomotive. These are locomotives that I can't read apparently. This isn't bad. The TE7 that's not bad. Uh, they have the same speed. One is clearly more powerful than the other, and it's about the same price. I could, I could get this one. 14% wear is pretty good, too. Although the older they get, the faster they'll wear. So this 14 might be worse than this 29. Because there's three different three years of difference there. Um, I am curious as to what a TE7 normally costs. Because I don't think that's a big discount. So uh, we're looking at 96000 for a five-year-old one. And if I go over to the diesels, they don't even make them anymore. Is that a discontinued train? It doesn't say what year. Weird. I can't buy that. Yeah, there's no such thing as a TE7. Uh, this one here, though, is cheaper. And it's brand new. The 753, we should probably do this. It's it's also the same speed. Yeah. I normally buy these. The R class fees. This is what I normally always buy because it's the cheapest and it still does the same thing. But a little bit more powerful could be good. And that extra money might make a difference. Uh, darn it. You know? I'm going to buy this one. Okay. I'm gonna buy this one. We're not in more debt yet, but I, I bought a train. Okay, I uh, I, I, I bought a train. <laughs> I feel good about buying a train. Can I buy used cars? Is there like wagons? These are motor wagons for passengers, which isn't bad, but no. You know, we could just use the motor wagons. They're really low passenger counts, but they're really cheap. Good. Don't motor wagons... Isn't this the trolleys? No, that's the trolley bus. And it's not a tram either. So yeah, maybe this just goes on the normal track. Sometimes I can't tell what these things are. All right, how about... Uh, we want cargo wagons. There it is. So we're looking for box cars, of course. We're going to want to transport clothes, food, crops, all those things. So... Two, three... I need a loan to buy more. I know we're not using them yet. I get that. But they're going to keep getting more expensive every year, right? So I, I think it's worth buying a few of them now just to kind of get it started. And uh, I'm willing to go a little bit more in debt just to do that. Because it's not that big of a deal. So I'm going to go, like, say, to one point. Let's go 1.3 here. And uh, we'll then clear this one. One one nine three three seven nine, and that leaves us with two point eight in debt. But it leaves me with enough to buy two more box cars, and I think I'm gonna want tankers eventually. But really, what I need is a, a way to uh, to ship out the stuff that we're producing. So that's food, that's clothing, and eventually it's gonna be 
you know, oil and, 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 and fuel, but we can wait on the tanker cars, I think, here. I think we can wait on tankers. The box cars were the most important thing, so I'm happy with the four for now. I think that's all right. And then once this is done, we'll get that train sent here, and then we finally have a train. And that train can bring in all sorts of stuff. It's not going to bring us meat. I think we got enough meat in here for probably three years. But we don't need any more. Uh, but we want to be able to ship open storage stuff too eventually too. So as we start to develop our train, as we start to get more money, as we start to send more stuff to the border from here, I'll buy another train that has the flat cars. And then we'll get that set up with its own route too. And they'll both be doing the same thing. They'll be, you know shipping out the boards because there's like 20,000 rubles worth of boards here uh we can ship out the bricks there's like probably 40,000 worth of bricks here plus over here too lots of bricks here too so uh yeah where's this traffic jam at so it's the same thing you're trying to go here but you can't get in here because it's booked so I think I want you to go and do a clothing run again you can do one more clothing run that's fine That'll leave room for this to get in here, and then we can start repairs on this meat truck. Yep. Okay, so, yeah, the loyalty's being low. We're working on it. I uh, just got to get the, the monuments and stuff built. They're actually still working on this right now. 19 stunt tons of steel left to go there. But we need our population to rise. Okay, so that's the thing. Is our population going up now? Big question. I would say no. I would say that's a firm no. We're still pretty firmly in the uh, in the stagnation phase. Probably because of, I think, probably because of people trying to get their food. So we're, like, look how fast we suck down the food, man. Food just goes fast. And you see, if you if you look at this and how fast we're using that, you also have to come over here. And look at how fast we're rejuvenating the supply. It is not equal. We need more people to work in food. Yep. We need more people to work in food. I need to specify for, I don't know, a little bit of time. I need everybody to work in food. For a little bit of time, I want everyone over here. So let's say 100 people can work here. And we'll get the entirety of all these buses, if there is even anybody on the buses. My gosh. This worker shortage is killing me. It may, it may eventually kill us. We'll have a big famine. <laughs> I'm not going to have that problem. We have lots of, we're, we're getting lots of stuff over there. But, I mean, we might have a mass hunger, hunger wave here in a bit. It's, it's very possible. certainly isn't good so this is what we need right here 94 people working in here because then we see the food go up right and that's going up way faster than we're using it over there at the supermarket right this is what we really need is this all right we got to have food supply replenishment so i'm gonna let this be 100 percent for a while we don't need gravel we're not working over here we don't need to work over here right now uh you know this could take a break Maybe we could have a, a few people working fabric just so that there's not um, like unemployment or anything. We could do something like this. Uh, and we can build up a supply of fabric that we can dip into later, right? That's a possible thing. Uh, but we definitely need most workers working over here. I want this to be, I'm thinking like 150 people maximum here. Like, let's let people work here. We got tons of crops we want to blow through here because we also want to harvest that one and have space for it for more. So yeah, definitely want this to go higher. And then that gives us exports too. If we can, and we can hit food, that's really valuable. Um, because if you look at the market prices for food, it's two. It's 188 per ton. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good export. If we can, we can produce a lot of this. Maybe food is our new export. I mean, clothing. We don't go through it very quickly. We got 15 tons right here. Maybe I shift to having food be my export later. You know. At the moment, I just need a train depot, but I can't have a, a route for a train until I have a depot for it, so. 
But you can see, we, we purchased the train, all right? It's, it's not functioning yet, but we purchased it. When this is completed, we've delivered, you know, some of the stuff for that. When this is completed, we'll run that train. When this is completed, we'll make prefab panels. And then we need to get dry bulk storage. And uh, hopefully we can have dry bulk brought in with a train too. Maybe even get it in here. I don't know. Probably not. No, this is this is too crowded for another connection. So no, we're, we're not going to do that. We don't need to do that. Because we have everything we need to make cement right here. We just have to get it all hooked up. So that's it. That's what we got to do. So I think that is going to do it for this video. I, I know we didn't really build anything per se. We're, we're kind of... You know going through the motions if you will i, I kind of want another bus for workers for construction projects but three of them is already it's already enough right i think like three on construction is more than sufficient right now just because of our, of our worker shortage but hopefully with this expansion in housing right here this expansion in housing will let us get to what looks to me like 4800 people or so and uh with these 4800 people we raise loyalty hopefully crime is is hitting our our happiness pretty hard so we're we're starting to get that going too um there's also a starving thing 13 people starving which is probably the buses and and getting over here so i think getting this built uh soon is is another higher priority we should probably be doing that and getting this the logistics set up for this too even if it is a vehicle that takes forever to get here it would still work uh really well for us i think um and maybe even even though we're going to tear it down later until we can get that set up perhaps a small shopping center would be a good idea to place in this spot right we're going to tear it down later but this at least gives me something that i can hook up to the distribution office to bring food to that these guys can access so perhaps that's how we play this and um if we're going to do it maybe we do it over here so that only these guys can access it because I really don't want these guys sucking it down from this side. But does it really matter? They'll just suck it down from here less. I think this is the better call. Because it's it's not as much resource. It's certainly not the same resource commitment. And we, it buys us time. And then we can always tear this down later. Or maybe it's a good thing and we keep it. But by keeping this, I also won't be able to get that hooked up to the road. And then I can't build it. So I need, I need a road connection for this. So we will build this knowing that we'll tear it down later. When the other store is operational okay and this is an emergency store basically is all this is so we'll do this and we'll do this um let's just do this the dirt path for now we'll do that okay so that's gonna be my solution for the starving issue right now to keep our population going and we'll hook this up to the distribution office uh when we can okay there's covered holes and stuff through here that are moving around okay Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. Um, I, I did want to get distribution offices for farms going. I really did. But uh, I don't think that's a big priority since we already have a really good crop load. Like, we're really good with crops. So there's no need to add additional trucks to the crop situation uh, until we have more people working to process those crops. Okay? Take care. We'll see you. Bye-bye. Oh, real quick. Didn't want to do this without you. Uh, I'm starting pollution filters research. So that's how we can study uh, the ways in which how pollution could be reduced by uh, filters. Idea is to install special filters to factories to avoid the pollution environment. So that's pretty good. We can do that. And if we can get filters over here, maybe there's space for more houses here. I have no idea. Um, or, or over here, we could put the filters over here and then I can have additional houses here. That'd be great too. Uh, and then also in this small headquarters, we now have the ability to do fire prevention in industry, civil infrastructure, or residential apartments. We're totally doing industry first because those buildings are the most expensive to replace. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.